Hi everybody, welcome to the video. My name is Owen Fox from Higher Self Herbs and today I'm going to talk about what is Jing, why it's so important and how to restore your Jing most importantly. So the first thing to, uh, to know is the not information about Jing so then you can be inspired to restore it. So in the Chinese system of medicine and herbalism they talk about three, uh, three things, Qi, Jing and Shen. So <clears throat> briefly put, Jing is like the foundation of building. It's the physical matter. It's the, the core strength. It's your inherited genetics. Jing is your vitality, your virility, your libido, your sex drive, your, your ability to, to reproduce and to be fertile to have offspring, to have children, to your Jing is your ability to recover from injury, physical injury or emotional, mental, your ability to bounce back from general stress in life. So basically speaking, Jing is your ability also to deal with toxins and pollutants and environmental hazards um, that are in the water, food and air. Jing is your ability to heal from an operation, to recover from having like children, like women have postpartum depression, that's because they have like very big depletion in their body and stress and maybe even toxicity combined making it worse. So if you have a strong Jing, you're going to like just bounce back from all these like stresses and injury and also bounce back from intense physical exercise. So the best athletes in the world, for example, they have very strong genetics. They usually come from islands, which is far away from the processed foods and loads of environmental toxins and pollutants and chemicals. Like people like Usain Bolt and like the, fa the fastest 100 meter runner in the world, the fastest sprinter runner in the world. Loads of these athletes are from Jamaica, e Ethiopia, um, Kenya, Africa and other islands like and the Caribbean, Jamaica, you know, I already said that, but other Caribbean islands too because um, their genetical pool is strong, their gene is strong, it's their genetical strength. Um, a lot of the people on main, on main like Europe and other like continents, we've been seriously polluted with chemicals and second of all really poor quality food and drink so little by little we've been weakening our genetics and this has been shown in iridology and also it's been shown like observationally through the fact people are getting sicker and sicker at younger ages like before I heard from Dr. Morris who's one of my favorite hear healers and an excellent herbalist and iridologist he was saying that like he used to work in a hospital and back then like in whatever it was the 60s or something people didn't really get cancer it was very rare and like maybe the 40s you know it'd be rare to hear anyone getting cancer in their 30s but nowadays he sees the genetics weakening and he sees now now it's like gone down into the 20s the 30s was regular then it went down into the 20s it was regular people in their 20s were getting cancer and tumors and really sick now teenagers and now even children so it's like it's really really important to cleanse our body and to eat good quality food so in the Chinese herbalism system, there's been many things to restore your Jing and to preserve your Jing from wasting and leaking. Jing is totally and utterly related to longevity also, which is like how fast or slowly you age and how well you age, how gracefully you age, and how, how much energy and keeping your libido and your hormones, everything like that, keeping them healthy. Um, Jing is also related very much so to your, in Western medicine, would call your adrenals. So basically speaking, your ability to adapt. That's why adaptogens, adaptogens are very famous in herbalism. Um, your ability to adapt to stresses, mental, emotional, psychological, physical, any type of stress that comes into your body that causes you to, in any, any form of bump or dent or hurt or strain, okay? So when your adrenals get depleted like who 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 has this fatigue in their adrenals it's like so many people so many people these days are sick and exhausted and they just can't recover 
like they've gotten a knock, they've gotten an injury, they've gotten an infection, they've gotten a like a disease, a viral infection, they've gotten, they've gotten an injury, they've gotten postpartum depression, they've gotten adrenal fatigue, and they just can't recover because their adrenals are wrecked and their body's too polluted. So in my life, working as a, a life, a spiritual life coach and a health and relationship and communication coach, and working with herbs and natural medicine, I've I've seen it in myself because I used to be sick. And I've healed myself tremendously. And I've seen it in so many people I know and work with also. So let me start talking about how to um, keep your jing strong and not to waste it. And how to actually heal adrenal exhaustion and to replenish your jing energy, core energy, vitality. And it's your reserve energy. Do you ever like do exercise or you have a long night out? If you can't, if you feel really exhausted after that and you can't recover fast, that's your jing and adrenals, basically. But if you can bounce back and still like work through the day and have a lot of like goodness and strength, that's that's jing, okay. So, so let me talk about now how to replenish and to fix and to heal and to preserve, okay. So. There's a, the herbs that I sell in my shop that I and that I've bought before I even had a shop that helped me recover from really like big adrenal stress and exhaustion and like being very sick was was um, adaptogens and jing herbs and the ones that I like and take the most the most famous is Ho Shu Wu like I made a video I can put that video up here Ho Shu Wu is very famous. Um, one of the most famous restorative jing herbs, okay. Then there's other herbs like dendrobium, schizandra, ligustrum, and um, prepared romania, and a few, good few other ones, and some of my other one, favorite ones are also for my endocrine gland um, system too. So my favorite blend basically is the rejuvenate formula that I have in my shop. That's the one I want to be taking like basically forever. like. I used to be exhausted and now have energy. I used to not be able to do anything, let alone exercise, and now I can do stuff. And I used to have no libido, like very, well not no, but like very, pretty low compared to what I used to. Like really lowered, tremendously low. And I'd feel exhausted after doing sexual like activity. <laughs> after I got injured, okay, or sick or whatever you want to call it. But now that's okay, it's fixed. So like there's so many people like have like just low libido. They're just tired. They can't do anything in life. They can't have fun. They can't enjoy themselves sexually. Like they don't have the energy to create and to be a manifester. <laughs> there's an ant on the yeah, on the camera, but it's not on the you can't see it. But anyway. Um so take stuff like the rejuvenate form, that's the one I'd recommend the most. If you look in the links below in the description, like you can um you'll you'll see that I have a lot of different recommended my, my favorite herbs in the description below, okay? Um, one, another one of my favorites is maca, which is really, really, really good for energy and libido and just general hormonal health, including your adrenals. It's fantastic. It's probably my favorite herb, really, to be honest. It's a very physical herb, but it also helps. Obviously, anything that helps you feel good physically will help you mentally, but it's, it's, it's not for stuff like anxiety or depression or fear or bad sleep or anything like that, which other herbs are very good for. They're called the Shen category. But maca is a very physical herb. It's a really fantastic herb. It used to be used by like Incan, Incan warriors or, or some warriors, like Peruvian warriors, before battle and just as a general aphrodisiac. So jing herbs are aphrodisiacs. They, they will nourish your hormonal system and your adrenals especially your, and your generally your, your libido too. Like I've noticed this difference actually because I ran out of rejuvenate a while ago and I feel like my libido is like a little bit lower, you know. And they also help support also like male like sexual functioning of that part of your body, you know, which is good too. Um, so what's really important is to cleanse your body, to rest. Resting and sleeping is probably the most important thing you can do. Along with taking high quality food or jing herbs for sure jing herbs are so important ultimately important so if you're tired and you want more energy if you don't even think you have adrenal wipeout or exhaustion or anything like what i'm talking about you will benefit from taking adrenal herbs they're very good for lots of your parts of your body different organs they're very nourishing and 
replenishing and nutri nutritious. So you can buy like many of the things I mentioned singularly below, like in my shop for example, or on the internet or locally, whatever you want. Um, the ones that I have in my shop are extracts, so it's not, they're not merely the raw ground up herb. They're actually like concentrated extracts of between 10 times stronger than the just the raw herb and they've already been extracted. Raw herbs take time to digest, there's a lot of fiber and, and bulk to digest and remove. The extract has already been prepared and extracted and it, it'll be absorbed into your system within 20 minutes or so rather than one to two hours, like maybe two hours. So it's very nice to get an immediate fast effect. There are instant tea, instant powder, you can add to a tea, hot water or a juice or warm water or cold water, very easy to, to take. You can travel easily with them too, so generally speaking I prefer extracts. But now I love the raw herbs too, it just takes a lot more time and preparation, that's all. I love the raw herbs too, but extracts are just very, 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 very handy and you can never really waste them unless you just never take them and they grow really, really old. But they're really handy and safe. So, getting to avoiding stress is really important for your adrenals or adrenal exhaustion. or jing depletion so don't overextend yourself physically mentally emotionally like learn how to say no learn how to balance yourself learn like to rest like a dog one of the things that i've learned to do is like look at a dog because there's this guy like i don't know his name exactly something like yin yuang or that's probably not it but something short like two or three words like that he apparently lived till the age of 256 whether or not this is true i don't really know but the point that to be learned is he recommended some things how to live really old and one of the things he said was to rest like a dog <laughs> and I've been observing dogs you know they're really really good resters when they're not doing exercise or having fun playing or chasing like jumping in the river or swimming or chasing sticks or they're resting a lot so they're, they're basically speaking always getting ready for the next moment where their body is required to be active. So I've been doing this too much more and I have to say it's really, really beneficial. Your body stays on the equilibrium level of not being like too tired. And then when you want to do something, you've got like much more energy. It's really, really good to rest like a dog. And obviously get enough sleep, go to bed early, try and get up early. Or if you don't go to bed too early, at least try and get enough sleep and rest when you're tired. So if you don't get enough sleep, try and rest that day. Like lie down or just sit around the place. At least lying down is the best, horizontally, okay? Um, I'd, I'd always suggest a raw food diet or like not, it doesn't have to be 100%, but it can be predominantly a raw food diet. And predominantly fruits and greens and fresh food, like freshly grown food. Like this garden here is like, there's loads of stuff here like this. This is the flower garden behind me. We also have basil or basil as you call it. And there's like so much fresh vegetables. So if you want to avoid cancer and avoid getting sick, stop polluting your body with like really, really like nasty foods and chemical rich foods. <laughs> try and go back to the basics and eat fresh homegrown food as much as possible. Otherwise, if you can afford it, try and get organic. If you can't, do your best. And just try and think about the quality of the food you're eating and all of the other holistic factors in life. So be happy in life, try and like have balance all of your needs, social needs, family needs, creativity needs, rest, sleep, food, enjoyment, and quality time, all these different needs we have as a human being. So I guess that's all I'd really say really. Um, the other two, Shen is the, so Jing, Qi and Shen. One other thing I'd recommend is definitely learn about urine therapy. It sounds really weird, but just Google urine therapy, urine therapy, Andrew Weber Norton. I'll put a link below. That that's a, a natural healing system that sounds. Some people think sounds weird, but that has all of your hormones from your adrenals, corticoids, and um, all your adrenal hormones and all of your other endocrine gland hormones and loads of vitamins, minerals, and medicine too, which have reportedly healed people from tumors, cancer, and so many different Ill problems with illnesses with the pancreas, the liver, and they've gotten blood tests and they've shown and felt the improvements 100%. Kidneys, skin issues, detoxification, loads. It's a free healing system, and obviously fasting is a free healing system too, but that's hard for people to do these days. So That's probably what I'd recommend. Um, just to end the video on inspirational note, guys, 
it's really important to look after your body and to look after your mind and emotions. When you look after your body, you're going to have a much better life emotionally and mentally. It's not a definite guarantee, but it's very influential. So when you're healthier and have energy, it's, life is much more fun. Like, it's not fun being sick. I spent 10 years of my life or more being sick. Like, it's crap. Like, so, like, it teaches me a lesson about to go on an inner journey and to be, like, learning about peace and other spirituality or self-development ideas and techniques or knowledge or wisdom. And that's good. So I don't take... I wouldn't want to take back my past. But at the same time, life is more fun when you're physically well. And you can do more stuff and make more stuff. So... You can do more adventures, you can make more money, you can work more, you can have more energy, you can play more, and you can just generally feel better more. So I'd highly recommend, people go into my herb shop also, like, and I also have another, um, I do coaching as I said, like owenfox.org. But there's free information on the site I mentioned before. So if you like this video, you like this information, check out my other videos, subscribe to my thing, my, my YouTube. Give me a like, I'd really, really appreciate it if you give me a like. That's like so helpful and handy and really appreciate it. Because it takes a lot of time and work to make all these videos, as you know. All that stuff. And of course, um, yeah, you can get a discount on my shop for the first time subscribers. So I hope this video helps and I hope it helps you to live life through your spirit, your shen, your inspiration, your creativity, your manifestation. And... That's all I want to say, so connect with me on Facebook. I'd love to hear from you, and I hope you enjoy the lovely scenery here. Coston, British Columbia, Canada. Loads of homegrown food, so nourishing, so like fresh. So much stuff. Fresh corn, fresh lettuce, kale, collard, baby spinach, cilantro. Tomatoes are sensational. All heirloom stuff. Nearly everything's heirloom. Watermelon. Watermelons growing heirloom. Like are all 100% organic. The only thing that's sprayed is like something like kelp or hot pepper to keep the insects away. 100% natural. 100% free from man-made bad damaging chemicals. 100% clean, good stuff. The way nature intended everybody. We have to get back to nature, you know. Be barefoot. Look at me. Touch the earth. I've been basically going barefoot. Except for sometimes going into the shops where I have to wear my shoes or my sandals. I've been barefoot for like two months here non-stop and it's like so good. Look at me, I'm topless. I'd even rather be naked but I'm not, I can't do that for YouTube. But like, think about the natural stuff before all the, the modern world came in telling us like to cover ourselves up and to hide and to be ashamed of ourselves and our sexuality. And like, we were born naked, you know. We were born naked without any clothes and then, then, then we were afraid of being nude. Like, where did that come in? <laughs> we're going to die you know the body is only the vehicle of our spirit the the jing and the chi is just the, the the vehicle of our shen it's it's the vehicle of our inspiration and our spirit breathing every day myself and the beautiful person like recording this video really patiently recording and our friend we do yoga and stretching or like it's breathing Getting oxygen and breathing is so important. Just like, you know, like just moving your body and like getting the circulation and just peaceful, you know. So, I hope this video uh, inspires you to make a little garden in your backyard if you have any room. Plant some organic seeds, you know. Eat some food, some nice stuff. All this like parsley and delicious food we have. And then you can pick the wild greens from your back garden too. Like, think about the Native American Indi Indians before all the modern world came in and like took over with chemicals and all the like crazy drugs. That, like, too much chemicals and too much like drugs that have been shown to be harmful as well, and not not too many effects. Like, so nature. That's all I want to say. See everyone. Have a lovely day. Love and blessing. And thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much. Have a beautiful day in life. Lots of love. That's all. There's also sweet bell peppers, cucumber, so delicious. I'm telling you, all this food is way better than anything I've ever bought in the shop. Eating fresh is unbelievable. There's also medicinal herbs like tulsi, like holy basil. There's also marshmallow, um, spilantes. 
What else is there? Calendula. There's amazing calendula flowers. So good for your eyesight. It's beautiful, pretty orange little dainty little flowers. There's also a herb garden with like growing loads around like um, thyme, um, sensational fresh mint, um, delicious marjoram. Tarragon. Ooh, tarragon. Sage. Sage. Echinacea. Oh, echinacea. Nice. And then there's like loads of beets and we cook the beet greens and like there's loads and loads of kale as I already said we like do juice, make powder, whatever you want to do. Yeah. Cook cook the stuff. There's yarrow. There's loads of like wild green herbs like 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 um like marshmallow and lamb's quarter. Not marshmallow and um, what's it called? Mallow? Mallow. Mallow. La um, lamb's quarters. Alfalfa. Dandelion. Beans. Alfalfa. Um so thistle, um, purslane, plantain, dock, yeah, loads of them. So, having a garden is cool. So, yeah, that's what I recommend herbs, nature, natural practices, um, orin therapy, getting a garden, taking your top off, being barefoot, breathing, exercise, just moderate yoga, balance, sleep, rest. High quality food, raw food, vegetarian, vegan, raw food idea. Um, balance your life and have fun and enjoy yourself and appreciate. Flowers. And just smell the flowers and breathe the air. Connect with friends. Like reach out and make friends if you're not making friends properly. Reach out and make friends. Go out and have some fun and meet people or invite them somewhere or give them a present and smile, you know. So, yeah, that's, that's it. Yeah, anything you want? Show me.